Okay, good morning. Welcome back to Yay Math. Today we'll be doing synthetic division and in honoring of Batman's song, how's it go? Again. Good job. Um, no joke? That was good. Thank you, Batman. That was a good Batman joke. Um, this is my, uh, possibly my favorite lesson of Algebra 2. It's definitely in the top five, and I'm going to tell you why. We've done long division, and as you know, about how much of the page did this problem take? Maybe half the page, right. This is like half the page. And so, like, I liken this, the long division method to, like, uh, it's, like, heavy and very convoluted and a lot of writing. So I liken that to my food analogy of, like, it's, like, gravy, like, heavy and sloppy and brown. <laughs> and now I'm going to give you another method called synthetic division that's light and airy and fluffy, kind of like, you know, like asparagus. Asparagus. <laughs> asparagus. Marshmallows. Cotton candy. But marshmallows don't go with... Gravy. Cotton candy. Cotton candy. Cotton candy. Cotton candy. Cotton. I never really liked That's it. Not it's just like it's mashed potatoes, but olive oil based, no cream. Why not mashed oh. potatoes in the end? Uh, the sloppy one is sloppy. Jokes. Have you ever made it with olive oil based? You just smash it up and you put the olive oil in the chives and the garlic? Okay, so this is asparagus. Oh, it's asparagus infused olive oil based mashed potatoes. Here's how it goes. Here's how it goes. Notice, whenever we're doing a long division problem, you know that like the uh, the variables and the powers are always the one that's consistent, right? Another problem may have like x cubed plus 5x squared and on and on. So there's always a cubed and a squared and then like a, a variable. And then if there wasn't one, we would have to put a zero placeholder. Mm -hmm. That was what we did in long division. And so the real magic behind these problems or like the information behind the problems are the coefficients, right? So focus on the coefficients for now. Because in a different problem, if this was 2b to the 4, so that coefficient would be 2, this is 1b to the 4, so the only difference is the 2 or the 1. All right? So bear with me for a second and see what I'm saying. What are the coefficients for this top part portion? Listen out for me. 1, two, one three, two, two. negative 2, oh. one. 1, 1, negative 3, negative three. Negative three. Four. 4, 4. Yes, I need to write these, write these down in order, yes. <laughs> these are the coefficients in order. Okay. And this is where we're going to do our problem. Okay, now I'm going to stick over here. And now we need a number that we're going to divide into. Usually put this in this little half box here. So we're going to call this the box, this number here. And this number has to do with the b minus 2. The number that you put in the box is when you set, when you set b minus 2 equal to 0. So let's do that. b minus 2 equals 0. What's b? Two. b equals 2. So 2 goes in the box. Okay. 2 goes in the box. And now we're ready to start. Draw a line with a little space underneath your, your numbers, please. And we go. Watch what happens now. It's like asparagus. Okay, so bring down the one.